What's up YouTube, this is Lance from F22 Studios. I want to talk today about the new firmware update for the Sony FS7. Pretty exciting stuff that's included with this. We'll get into that in a little bit. Here's what you're gonna need. For starters, you're gonna need a SDHC card. Uh, anywhere between two and 32 gigabytes will work. The card cannot be UHS, and it has to be between a class four and a class 10 card. Uh, you will also need the either the, the charger that came with the camera, uh, the one that you can plug your battery into and then you can also plug it into your camera and use it as a power adapter. Or if you have the XDCA unit, you can use the four pin 12 volt that's on the back of the XDCA unit. But you wanna make sure that you are running the camera off of house power when you go to do the update. Basically, it's pretty simple. The first thing you do is if you look down, You'll see I put a little link right here underneath the, uh, underneath the video. Just click on that. That's going to take you right to the uh, file that you need to uh, update the camera, update the firmware. Click on that, download that. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your SD card, put it in the camera, format the media, take the card out of the camera, take it to your computer, Put that file onto your card, take it out of the computer, put it back in the camera, click on the wrench, which is the system menu. Go all the way down to the bottom of that menu and you'll see version, click on version, and then your current firmware uh, number version will be there. And just go ahead and click on version up. Go to execute. It's gonna say, please use the AC adapter which we've already done, and we'll just go ahead and execute. Once you've done the upgrade, the upgrade will install, the camera will reboot, and now you've got a bunch of new really cool features to use with your uh, Sony FS7. For starters, uh, you have focus magnification, which is, uh, you know, you've had this function, but it's improved, okay? So now what you can do uh, when you hit focus magnification is there's better resolution once you've, uh, once you've done the magnification, but now you can also use the cursor and you can move the focus magnification around the screen. So let's say you're sitting, uh, you've got a frame, you're sitting there doing a sit down interview, you wanna check the focus, hit focus magnification. You don't have to move the camera, you can move the focus magnification box up, you know, put it on their eye to check your focus. Pretty cool. Um, secondly, there's now uh, full 2K support on the camera and a 2K center scan setting, which is uh, very, very exciting uh, for anybody that wants to use a ENG style lens on this camera. Uh, now what you can do is you can go and you can do a 2K center scan of the uh, center pixels and it's gonna punch in and hopefully uh, zoom past any vignetting issues you may run into by having a uh, ENG lens with different adapters on the, uh, on the camera. It now supports interval recording for uh, those of you who like to do time lapses. Um, it also expands the uh, zebra settings. You can now take your zebras all the way down to 0%, which is a pretty cool function. Gives you a lot more uh, latitude. And now uh, you can also have, there's also noise suppression setting in Cine EI mode. Uh, used to just be that you could use the noise suppression in the custom mode. Now you can use that in the Cine EI mode as well. Um, there's video signal monitor usability improvements, um, the operability of the iris setting um, using the iris dial, uh, and the assignable dial is improved. Um, FS RAW image quality has been, uh, and, uh, and the operation and, and stability has been improved. And basically just the overall um, stability and operability of the camera is improved. I've definitely noticed that the, uh, the reboots and the menu system are, are much punchier than before. Uh, reboot time is, uh, has sped up and getting into the menus has also sped up as well. So if this has helped you, please click the, click the like button below and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments in the comment section below. If you've liked this video, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you very much.